I'm here I'm here at a to visit a boat now this boat is the owner of the fit out pontoons boat the guy we call Mark I mean there's Mark the painter and then there's Mark the owner the director the CEO the bloke in charge he's what we call in the military a squep SQEP suitably qualified and experienced person I mean there's people that are suitably qualified to build boats there's people suitably experienced to build boats but he is qualified and experienced at living and building boats and to my mind that was important that was an important aspect because everything I wanted to do throughout this journey and I've spoken to Mark he will give me a reason why I can why I can't or how to do it better or if I was you lithium for example I've got a bit of extra money what do I need to do to improve the boat lithium no questions I said it in an earlier vlog and it's that lived experience for me that makes the difference that's that provides for me the squip I think that about says it all so let's go and have a look I've delivered my bikes. It's um, I'm always apprehensive when you've got a new bike rack on the back of the car. But um, to be honest, those bikes didn't move at all. And it's a very good bike rack. For those people that are interested in bike racks, it's a buzz rack. Very good. So I can't get too close to Ben because there's lots of painted steel out there 
and um, again I want the reveal to be a reveal but the boat I'll tell you what the boat does look so different now from the outside because all the portholes are all the porthole windows are in you just need to be lined and Don will do that perhaps next week um, and put the windows in the side hatches and and the the front and back door those will be going in shortly the paint is all sorted now so the coach line needs to go on um, sign writing needs to happen the bow needs to be sprayed and the stern needs to be sprayed and that's about it so we're talking now not long I'm not going to give you it's a couple of weeks gusting three at a push That picture of me <clears throat> meeting the Queen is customary every five years for the squadron to host the Queen. And I was fortunate enough to be in the position that I was in uh, on the squadron as the squadron one officer. It was not because I'm any better than anyone else, it was just I was just fortunate that at that time when I was on the squadron, I got to dine with the Queen. There was 14 of us, including Her Majesty herself. Um, and what a great experience fantastic and you know those of you that watch military events on the television is particularly the, the you know the I think the the platy tubes that's just happened um, the Queen's on the forecourt the Queen's watching um, Troop in the Colour and the BBC fella says the Queen knows an awful lot about drill she knows exactly what should be happening trust me that is true a little dit I can remember um, at the dinner table um, Her Majesty asked the squadron commander um, what happened on the forecourt to which the squadron commander replied oh, I don't know I don't deal with all the drill and ceremonial stuff I'll leave that to Mr Mears Mr Mears she said the table went quiet oh my heart honestly was pounding why did you make the decision you made on the forecourt? Oh, I'll leave the story for another day. But let me tell you something. When Her Majesty the Queen asks you a question and she's got that, but not finger poking because she's very, what's the word I'm looking for? Very astute. Her emotional intelligence is very, very good. Um, she just asked me in such a way that she wanted to know an answer and you know you cannot waffle to the Queen one it's a lack of integrity and it just it just doesn't happen and two if you made a mistake you just have to accept it However, for some reason or other, that glass isn't frosted yet. Is that going to be a problem? I, I, I think they're going to frost those windows. Makes no odds. Be nice though when it for guests. <laughs> the gas bottles are here, but I bought those gas bottles February time, perhaps. Now, those gas bottles are something, if you're not in the know, people around the cut, I'm sure it's the case. I tried to find some gas bottles and it's very difficult to find them. Places will exchange, but for you to buy a new gas bottle, that's quite difficult. So if you're in the process of buying a new boat and you need to find gas, you need to kind of look early. You might be lucky that the marina nearby um, will supply you with gas. Thankfully, Red Hill Marina did that for me. But I was searching um, across the country, um, camping shops, happy to exchange, but you can't buy. Mm. Good job I thought about that early on, though.
I bought my brought my boots in to prove a point you see those boots I wouldn't put on my feet at the condition they're in because actually they're not good enough um, I may be able to use them as workers you know on the square messing about but generally speaking for a parade they're just not good enough but everybody here thinks they're great last week I I kind of said oh I'm a bit disappointed that the paint is problems with the paint and here's here's the gen when Mark said to me can we have a chat okay and he took me in to have a look at the boat and he said to me that side of the boat is fine this side of the boat is okay but this panel he showed me if you notice it's not it's not like the rest of it I couldn't necessarily see what he was on about but he said to me I will not allow this boat to leave my possession until it's near perfect okay I couldn't necessarily see what was wrong with the boat you know he takes pride in what he does and so do all the lads and this my boat will not leave this place until it's ready until mark is is happy that it's as near perfect as it can possibly be and i liken that to my boots i know what i'm looking at i can tell a good pair of boots from a bad pair of boots yeah, boots were one of those things on the squadron you took pride in and that's like the paintwork they take pride in the paintwork i can remember lord mayor's procession bbc were doing you know the filming of the Lord Mayor's procession and there was um, a military advisor Lieutenant Colonel Cordroy Brokes let's say for example and um, presenter would say oh here comes the Queen's Colour Squadron look how shiny their boots are and this Cordroy Brokes fellow would say oh the RAF they paint their boots so it's not really polish let me tell you something we use polish and water got it the reason for mark wanting to push the boat back another week for before the launch is because good is not good enough it's the quietest i've seen it here ever i mean everybody's on the boat dylan's on the new boat battening it out Ben's doing bits and bobs on my boat. Marcus is on the the other big boat on the uh, in the other shed. So lots of people working, and of course, Mark the painter and Dom, they're on holiday. Um, got a provisional date. I've said it before. I'm not going to go on about it. I've said it before, and mid July. Next week. I'm hoping coach lines will at least have been started. The uh, sign writer is being ordered. And um, well, that's it really. I don't, you know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And then next week. See you next week.